Hey there, so this message is about learning to forgive God. Sometimes we kind of get very angry with God because of all the tests and all the things that God allows us to endure. But it's really important to be mindful that God is weaving everything into a pattern for good. Everything is working out for the betterment of ourselves, of our futures, for, the, for our purpose in the kingdom. Everything is going to work itself out. There's a scripture, I believe, that says something like, um, actually, I have it here. It says something like, consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. Yes, so it's a good thing because if there's like bad going on in every area of your life, every direction that you turn, it seems like there's chaos in every area. That means that there's so many areas that God has this um, opportunity to show himself, to reveal his glory in your life. So it's actually a great thing when you're going through a lot, even though it doesn't seem like it. It's important for us to be mindful that God is working it out, that God already knows the end and that God is available to us at all times. So if we're feeling angry, if we're feeling upset with God, not to run and hide from him, from him or avoid him, to go to him and say, I'm mad, I'm hurt, I'm feeling however I'm feeling, God will understand. God will truly understand what you're feeling and he will open up your eyes to see why he's doing certain things. He will allow you to be aware and attentive and conscious of why he's doing certain things. Also, after you've cried and after you've yelled and shouted to God of how you're feeling, you'll you'll feel this like supernatural peace that just washes over you. So it's important to immediately bring your anger towards God. If you're angry with him, immediately to bring it to him. Uh, there's a cartoon called... Um, Joseph, Prince of Dreams, that was on Netflix. There's a scene where he's in the jail cell and he is um, angry with God and he's shouting and he's furious. He's upset, like yelling everything that he has to get off his chest. He's yelling it to God. And then he starts to sing this song that uh, says, um, you know better than I. And it's so true. Like God knows what he's doing. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't makes sense. It hurts, but he knows what he's doing. He is strengthening our weaknesses in the end of the chaos or after the chaos, we'll see like, wow, I'm much more courageous. There's no way I would have done that on my own. There's no way I would have spoken in that way. There's no way I would have been as assertive. Like we, we see whatever weaknesses we have as individuals, God is strengthening those weaknesses through this uh, journey, through the process. So when we've went through all, we've went through things that seemed, you know, there was no way out in that God was there. But once we get out, I feel like there's another part of the process where there's more tests where God is softening our hearts again towards him, towards other people, towards ourselves. Just like I had to toughen you up, but I still love you. And also, I still want you to have a soft heart. I still want you to have a kind heart. I don't want you to go around being bitter towards anyone, not towards yourself, not towards me. So God wants to love us. God wants us to be loving. And no matter how we're feeling after the pain, after, after the, you know, the hardship and the, um, the wilderness, no matter how we're feeling, we just go to God and talk to him about it, express ourselves to him in whatever way we feel we need to get it off our chest so that we feel better. We need to bring it to God and not forget about him. It's so easy to run away from him when we're mad at him. It's so easy to blame him. It's so easy to um, just try to avoid God when we're hurting. But that reminding ourselves that God is weaving everything into a pattern for good, reminding ourselves that God is here to help us and not harm us, reminding ourselves of the things that God delivered us from in the past and just allowing ourselves to be in his presence so that we can recognize his goodness and his His mercy and his preciousness and being enveloped in his love and not having hardened hearts where we just do not want to receive him anymore because we're so angry and hurt. Everything God is doing is for us, not to us. Even though in the midst of it, it does not seem like it at all. It's all a gift. It is all a blessing. So I pray this message helps, heals, and strengthens in all things we do. Let's give God the glory. I will see you in the next video.